What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, there's and Junkies, you know who it is, Chris. And if you're wondering why I got this weird ass hat on, it's because I was mowing the lawn. And I didn't realize I got two missed calls and a bunch of text messages from Mr. Ken Dage, Vice President of the Illinois Camaro Club, calling me to let me know that he just purchased a barn find car that is, uh, I believe it's like a 14,000 original mile 85 uh, high output 305 373 L69 dual snorkel five speed Camaro that's been in a barn for 20 years. And he's using my trailer that's at his house to go pick it up. So we are going to hurry up and haul butt to his house and jump in with him and Mr. Tom Junt. So I'm about to jump on this highway. See you guys in a minute. This door hasn't been opened in 20 years. Hey, hey Kat, look down. What? <laughs> that animal car, can see it right there? Oh, I see it. <laughs> you got that animals. I think he came on beat it here. Oh, no. Oh boy, look at that. Wow. Do you have ribbon tires on? Yeah. Is that what? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I just uncovered. Yep. Thirty-two. That's Chaplin. Yep. Red and gold. Red and gold. Wow. Smells new. No power. Yeah. It's in neutral? Yeah, it's in neutral. E brakes off. Key? Key's in there. it. You need the key. Oh. That's in my pocket. Steering wheel's locked. We don't need to turn where we're going. <laughs> I'm just gonna guide it on. Let me just put this down. Yeah. Hey Chris, pick that board. This one? No, the other one. Pick it towards the license plate bracket. This the this part? Yeah. No, the other way. A little more. Alright, right there is good. Put a rag on a bumper cover. <laughs> Turn the wheel a little bit to your left. That's good. <laughs> you know, I've seen there's a guy selling these rims 
for fifteen hundred dollars in Michigan. I'm like, they're hundred fifty dollar rims. I just bought a set last year. I mean, what the hell? Even, even getting them refurbished was like five hundred bucks. Like. Hey, will the door clear the fender? Yeah. Yeah. Rusty Jones car stand. <laughs> That's cool. Look at all that room. I know. Got room for activities now. Lots of activities. Moving stuff in. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight. Wow. Definitely is pretty. <coughs> wow. All right, I'm going to pull the trailer forward, get it flat, and then we'll strap it. The wheels are chalked, so it shouldn't roll. Registered in 93. Look at that. That is awesome. Strapping her down. This is what it will look like in a, in a little bit. These are, that's mine. Yeah. I'm all strapped up. Get a rebuild kit and rebuild the carburetor. Just clean up on the engine bay. Yeah. 
Just like Marty, the wife's square flange, the one that we had a problem with, square flange three inch. My water dripping off of it everywhere from washing it. But she's clean. Let's wave our links. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of loving. Alright guys, so Ken washed the car, got it cleaned up a little bit, started assessing what needs to be done to it, how much detailing needs to be done, um, any paint correction or anything needs to be done to it. I do believe he is going to flip the car and sell it. Um, so yeah, but I am basically on my way to the other third gen junkies house, uh, Big Vess's house, because it is game night. I am extremely tired. I've been with Ken ever since we went to get the car. Um, I didn't have to be there the whole time. I just, I like hanging out. I want to see the car. Um, see how nice it is and what needs to be done and whatnot um but yeah i'm heading to his house we're gonna eat pizza it is game night i don't think we're gonna be playing any games so i'm not sure if anybody's even gonna show up because lately it's been everybody's been doing their own thing or doesn't have stuff going on uh, game night's real popular for the most part in the winter time only because of the simple fact that we uh you know it's winter time nobody wants to go outside there's nothing really to do and now summertime when everything cracks open you know and with you know the pandemic you know kind of behind us everything's opening back up um if it's not already all open back up you know it's, it's there's everybody has stuff going on you know um graduation parties there's a lot of weddings uh summer is you know it's june you know it's getting nice out there's a lot of car shows a lot of stuff going on so i mean I don't know who all is going to be there, but I am starving. I have not eaten anything all day. All I have had all day, it is now 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. I've been with Ken since about 11 o'clock this morning. I haven't eaten anything, and the only thing I drank on the way over there was a Red Bull. So my stomach is really mad at me right now. So I'm going to go over there, eat some pizza, and uh, hand this video off to him so he can edit it and get it in the queue. But yeah. I want. I kind of want to do a series on this car to show the progress, but I don't. Uh, Ken's like 15, 20 minutes from me. It's not bad of a drive, but we also have uh, varying schedules. Like he usually gets off work, you know, sometimes after I do, or vice versa. I get off before him, but he's still at work and stuff. So I mean, I probably won't do a series on it, but I might do an update on it. You know, if he goes to sell it and what it looks like in the end but uh yeah so like subscribe drop a comment down below if you need promo cars or you need parts hit me up like i tell everybody i have stickers they're free i will send them to you for free i will pay postage and send them out um uh, still have the wristbands five dollars a piece third gen junkies uh, wristbands so hit me up i'll see you next time